In this video, I will tell you everything you should know about the upcoming AMD Ryzen 8000 series desktop processors based on Zen 5 architecture. That includes specifications, performance and release date. By the way, I will also talk about the 3D vCache variants of the Ryzen 8000 series. But first… CDKeyOffer.com is my number one choice for when I need to buy a cheap Microsoft software key. They are a reliable provider of affordable keys to me, my friends and the channel community for over two years now, so highly recommend it. Use my discount code IVADIM to get 30% off an already amazing price and grab yourself a Windows 10 Pro for $16, Windows 11 Pro for $23 or Office 2021 for just $52. You can use PayPal for fast and secure payment and get your key instantly. Links to all these products are in the description below. The Ryzen 8000 series processors will be manufactured using TSMC's 4 nanometer process. The number of cores, cache size and TDP will remain the same as in the current generation, Ryzen 7000 series. This means that we will see the Ryzen 9 8950X with 16 cores and 32 threads at 170 watts. The Ryzen 9 8900X with 12 cores and 24 threads at 170 watts. And the Ryzen 7 8700X with 8 cores and 16 threads. As for the 8700X TDP, we don't know for sure yet, but there is no reason to believe that it will be any different from the current 105 watts on the Ryzen 7 7700X. The same goes for the Ryzen 5 8600X with 6 cores and 12 threads. TDP will most likely stay at 105 watts. AMD also plans to launch low-power 65-watt non-X models as part of the Ryzen 8000 series family. This information is corroborated by the official AMD roadmap. Interestingly, this roadmap confirms AMD's plans to launch Ryzen 7000 series APUs featuring RDNA 3 graphics for desktop sometime this year and Ryzen 8000 series APUs featuring RDNA 3.5 graphics for desktop in 2024. But APUs are a topic for another video, so subscribe to the channel to learn about that in one of my upcoming videos. Another roadmap, leaked by Moore's Law is Dead, confirms that the Ryzen 8000 series will get 28 PCIe 5.0 lanes. That's just 4 lanes more than the Ryzen 7000 series has on an X670E motherboard right now. This indicates that AMD is not planning to make any significant changes to the current 600 series chipset in order to keep motherboard costs low. And while the new 700 series chipset motherboards will undoubtedly launch, it's worth remembering that they will still utilize the same AM5 socket. This means that if you already have one of the 600 series motherboards, you will be able to drop in a Ryzen 8000 series processor into it after a BIOS update. Nice and easy. As for the DDR5 memory support, the latest rumor has it that AMD has already validated DDR4-6400 speed and is currently working on validating the 7200 megatransfers per second memory kits. Most likely we will see DDR5-7200 as a standard with the arrival of the Ryzen 8000 series processors. Furthermore, support for even faster memory speeds is still on the table, but we have to manage our expectations. Even the DDR5-7200 would be a massive improvement over the current DDR5-5200 speed on the Ryzen 7000 series processors. We'll have to wait and see how that develops as we get closer to the Ryzen 8000 series launch. Now let's take a look at what the Ryzen 8000 series is projected to offer in terms of performance. I must emphasize that this is just a projection. But this information does come from the sources within AMD, so it holds a lot of weight. The Ryzen 8000 series is projected to bring a 15 to 25% IPC improvement over the Ryzen 7000 series. Additionally, the Zen 5 architecture is said to be one of the more ambitious designs AMD has developed in recent years. Taking all of that into consideration, I expect we'll see a 20 to 30% performance increase in games. 
I decided to draft another chart featuring the Intel 15th gen processor projected performance to see how things may play out in terms of competition. And it appears that if AMD will manage to deliver performance on the higher end of the projections and Intel on the lower end, then we may see the Ryzen 8000 series compete with Intel's 15th generation Arrow Lake processors, which are expected to launch way later than the Ryzen 8000. In my opinion, this worst-case scenario for Intel is unlikely to happen, but it is worth pointing out that the chances are not zero. So, Intel should aim to do their best to deliver the 15th generation of processors as soon as possible and not cut any corners when it comes to performance. It is great to see both AMD and Intel bringing meaningful generation over generation improvements year after year. Keep it up! As for the release date, AMD plans to launch the Ryzen 8000 series processors in the first half of 2024. Right now it looks like it will happen in Q2 2024. Additionally, AMD should be able to launch the 3D Vcache variants by the end of 2024. We don't have any leaks on the Ryzen 8000 3D variant performance. However, it is easy to make an educated guess by looking at the performance increase the 3D Vcache technology brought to the previous Ryzen series processors. It is reasonable to assume that the Ryzen 7 8800X 3D will be at least 10% faster in games than the Ryzen 9 8950X. I expect AMD's Ryzen 8000 series 3D Vcache equipped CPUs to be the real challenger to Intel's 15th generation processors at the end of next year. So, if you are planning to buy a gaming CPU in 2024, then these are the products you should be keeping an eye on. What are your expectations for the Ryzen 8000 series? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this video, then give it a like and subscribe for more if you haven't already. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.